least formal video you've ever seen me create. I wanna talk about how to become an entrepreneur today because I see a lot of people come out of high school, going to college, feeling stuck. And there was a moment when I felt the exact same way. So hopefully a lot of what I'm gonna be talking to you about today in this video on how to become an entrepreneur is gonna help you have some clarity and really start to figure out what you wanna do, chipping away at life, the direction you wanna go, the path that you wanna take, because it, it's, it's freaking hard, I'm gonna tell you that. There's a time I was working 100 hours a week, I still do, but there was a time where there was a big growing period in my life and I went through a lot of trial, a lot of tribulation, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of sacrifice, uh, a lot of depression, all that stuff. So if I can help you guys through that in any way, I hope this video uh, really helps to do that. So one of the first things that I want you guys to realize is like entrepreneurship is not created in school, okay? It's not behind four walls of a college classroom taught from a professor that makes $72,000 per year, okay? I know mom and dad said, go to school, get a job, get some life experience, but the reality is that stuff isn't working. The exchange of value in schools, unless you're gonna be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, look, college is not the only option and probably not the best option for you. Here's the thing, in our curriculum and growing up, we were not taught to really embrace the things that we truly love. You know, we were taught like math, irrational roots, English, which, you know, you need to you need to be able to read, you need to be able to write and all that stuff. But the problem is that we're not taught hustle, work ethic, ambition, all right? That participation awards don't matter, okay? There's first place and then there's the rest. And with the path that I've gone on, I, choose, I chose to go down a road that nobody wanted to go down, that very few people go down, that mom and dad, your parents, your teachers, your family, your friends think, hey, that, what are you doing? That's dangerous. That's dangerous shit. Why are you doing that? Nobody does that. It's not normal, okay? Like, I got out of high school and I was like, what am, what am I going to do? Most people go to college. Do I want to go to college? Well, heck, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because I'm looking at what's being taught in college and I'm like, it doesn't interest me. I want to own my own business. I have skills that I've created and I've learned outside of school, like welding, all right? Like communication. All right, establishing relationships. I learned all that stuff outside of school. I didn't need school for that. You don't need school to be successful, all right? I've never been asked, as an entrepreneur, you're not ever gonna be asked what's your degree or are you qualified, okay? that That's not part of it, all right? As an entrepreneur, you're gonna be asked, can you get the job done? Yes or no? Fuck yes, I can. Absolutely, I can. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You can get the job done. It's as simple as that, guys. And so, when you're trying to figure out how to become an entrepreneur, don't worry about it so much, okay? Find a passion, right? And if you don't have that passion yet, you gotta figure out what it is. One of the best things that you can do, start experimenting. And I'm not talking about go do drugs, snort heroin, or something like that. I'm not talking about that. By the way, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I don't know which side it's gonna be on. Make sure to subscribe, okay? If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm here to help, all right? If I can help to alleviate some of those struggles that I had to go through, I'd sure love that opportunity to be able to do that. And hopefully this video does help some of you guys with that. So I'm just telling you guys, find a passion, whatever that passion is. If you don't know what it is yet, then you need to start experimenting, all right? Diversify, get yourself involved in a few different things. Travel around the world, sign up for some camps, whatever the case may be. Find a mentor online, read some different books, go on some hikes jump off a freaking cliff into a water 40 feet below <laughs> safely if you can all right i'm just saying do a few different things all right and then you're going to start to be able to find what it is that you truly enjoy and for me i remember the very first time i went on a roller coaster i was scared shitless like i was scared i'm like mm -mm. I'm, I'm, I'm i'm an analytical person i'm here on the boards creek it's uh silverwood in, in idaho i'm like i don't sound very safe to me i don't think i'm gonna do it that and my dad's like you're, you're going on it once i did get on it i was like holy shit this is the funnest thing that i have ever done i love this all right so i went on the roller coaster and i couldn't get off my smile was ear to ear when you have something that you're super passionate about and you can find something that like you can do and it makes you smile ear to ear 
that's what you need to do, all right? Some people are motivated by money. Some people are motivated by achievement. Some people are motivated by competition. Some people are motivated by helping others. I would say I'm motivated by a lot of those things, achievement, money, helping others. Because if, if you don't have money, you can't exponentially give back, all right? A lot of people think rich people are selfish. No, broke people are selfish. The middle class can oftentimes be selfish. See, to become wealthy, you had to do something. You had to contribute. To be poor, you, you don't have to really contribute much, all right? So if you wanna learn how to become an entrepreneur, number one thing is pick a passion. Find something that you are passionate about. If you don't know what that is yet, you gotta start working on fine. That's the first step. So find that. Secondly, once you do, develop a skill around it. Realize that college is not the only answer. You do not need to go. Here's the thing. Out-of-state tuition, about $25,000 a year. In-state tuition, about $10,000 a year. 83% of college students go out of state, $100,000 per year. Average college student will graduate with over $40,000 in student loans. Average college student working 20 hours per week, all right, part-time, is gonna make less than their college degree costs them. And when they graduate, their salary is gonna be on average $47,000 per year with $100,000 in student loans. That exchange of value is absolute shit, okay? Hey, if you haven't already, smash that like button. Make sure that you do, okay? This is for you guys. I want you guys to be able to succeed. I want you to have success. I want you to have success in life and I want you to just realize, question, okay? When mom and dad said, hey, in invest and save and put money in an IRA, they didn't freaking know. They didn't know that an IRA is one of the biggest financial scams out there. They didn't know that there were better ways to invest, commercial real estate, all right? Being able to invest in ways where you can clean your money and pay taxes only on capital gains versus earned income, okay, they didn't know that. Your mom and dad weren't taught this, all right? They don't know how to teach you it. Your, mom, your professor doesn't know. They don't know, they're oblivious. If you want to learn something, learn from somebody that has that skill in the area you wanna learn it, okay? If you want to learn finance, if you wanna learn about money, don't learn from your mom and dad who don't make $100,000 a year combined. $100,000 a year is not not much. $400,000 a year is not much. A lot of you guys are like, man, this guy sounds greedy. No, I understand how taxes work. And because I went out into the school of life and actually applied real life application, I realized that all that bullshit that we're taught in school, all that theory, it's not how real life works, okay? AP Calculus said, hey, you need to learn irrational roots and imaginary numbers. Because if you learn that, you could design rocket fuel at NASA. That's, that's literally what my math teacher told me. You need to learn irrational roots and imaginary numbers because if you're designing rocket fuel at NASA, are you fucking kidding me? Elon Musk isn't sitting here. Elon Musk did not use irrational roots and imaginary numbers to figure out how to manufacture a rocket for 73% less than the Russians were at that time. It's not, that's not what he did. That's not what Musk did. Okay, Zuckerberg didn't use irrational roots and imaginary numbers to found Facebook and have one of the most successful technology IPOs, okay? Um, who else, who else? Um, all right, like, didn't happen, all right? The guy driving the Audi R8, going by right there. Probably didn't use the rational roots and imaginary numbers to get a $150,000 car. That's not how it worked. If you wanna learn how to become an entrepreneur, find a passion, acquire a skill around that passion, okay? Hone in on that and realize that those skills are best acquired by doing it and by learning from somebody who is operating at the level that you one day want to operate at, which is not professors, okay? So acquire a passion, okay, first. Secondly, develop skill around that passion, all right? You're going to acquire that skill by learning from somebody that's doing what you want to do at 10x the level, all right, that you're currently doing at, which is not a professor, it's not mom, it's not dad, it's not taught behind the doors of a college classroom, all right? Once you start acquiring that through doing and learning from the person that has achieved what you want to achieve in that area, realize what people's thought patterns, beliefs, and problems are around this industry, around this passion that you have. When you are passionate about something through thick and thin, you don't quit, all right? That passion is what sells. Energy is what sells. People latch onto that energy. That, that energy is addictive to other people. So when you're passionate, all right, through thick and thin, you don't give up. It's much harder to give up because you just want to succeed. You want to keep going. You pick something that you know, you're know you not in love with. When things get hard, you just you fall apart, all right? So find that passion, develop and hone that passion, 
figure out what people's thoughts and beliefs, objections are, problems, issues, concerns around that industry. Identify that, all right? Find the problem people are having, create the solution, sell it back to them. That's how you get paid to be successful. That's how you will get paid as an entrepreneur, and that's how to become an entrepreneur in anything, all right? It's not college. It's not $100,000 of student loans for a poor exchange of value where you're gonna to be told you're overqualified, work for somebody else for four years, get a gold watch, then retire when you're 65, move into Southern California because of your arthritis, travel around in a motorhome for 15 years, scratching off all the 50 states that you've been across, and then dine in an assisted living home where you write your grandkids' birthday cards several times per year. That's not life, okay? Pick a passion, own the passion, identify the problems, create the solution, sell it back to the market, get rich, give back, and live life on your terms. That's how. My name is Ben over here. Appreciate you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Have a question, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video.